Okay, now we move up into the lower leg. Now I start, this is where I really start the particular rhythm. That this rhythm that I'm using now will probably be his rhythm pretty much throughout the whole session. See, he's a big guy. He's, we're not going to go too fast. Okay, so as, see, when I'm just doing this little, as I push in, you see, the leg is automatically going to come back out. So my pushing is slightly inward. I'm stretching all the connective tissue in the, in the uh, hip joint and along the way. Then sort of the major muscles along here, the tibialis anterior, the calf uh, front muscles are walking muscles, so I press and separate those from the bones. Now you'll see that what happens is a lot of problems happen because the muscles dry out through trauma or something and stick to bones, and so we want to separate them as much as possible. And generally, we do it just through easy movement. So here, then I squeeze the calf now this is really fun, and, and it, it, this looks different than what it feels like. What I'm doing is holding the muscles, shaking the leg, and the bone is moving inside of the muscles. Separate it. What I want to do is separate the muscles from the bones. You see? Okay, then I move up into the knee. Now this knee work is, is I think, I've never seen anything nearly as good. So here's just a little kneecap. Now watch. We want to give freedom to this knee. So basically I'm pushing the knee inward and lifting it and it's making this nice big easy circle and loosening and relaxing. The knee doesn't get much of a chance to really flop around here, you see? How this flops nice and easy, light and free and easy. So I'll show you how to do this and how to keep yourself comfortable while you're doing this. Then moving up into the thigh. Now here's where I said that uh, we don't really rub. We mostly grab a hold of muscles. Now it's here particularly, you see, I use my, remember we talked about using the pad of the hand. I use the pad to squeeze the flesh into my center of the hand and then I shake it. We call this like hanging out dirty laundry. You see, you kind of lift it up and you kind of shake and I can feel his bone inside moving is what I want. I want to separate the bones. See? Gently suggesting, each moment I suggest to his mind that this can be lighter and freer, lighter and freer. Like, how light and free can this leg be? In fact, I'll just give him a little, a little extra stretch here. I'm just easy pushing down and stretching from the hip and the knee. And it's coming from his center, just suggesting that his leg can be lighter and freer and longer. Now another thing that we do is we separate from the body uh, at various times, uh, whereas in Swedish massage usually you don't do that. So then I go back, chorus. Okay. Now still I want to fluff up this flesh and the, all this more. So what I'm going to do here is just taking a hold of the muscles inside here, you can see, and gently suggesting lightness and freedom. Most people are a little protective inside the, inside the thigh, so you have to be, we're gonna not tell you about that, but we'll be careful about that. And the outside, and both. This is sort of like plain Play-Doh or something. And I'm, what I'm doing is I'm squeezing things together and shaking them. So I can actually feel the bones inside as I squeeze and these muscles are letting go and relaxing. And then I lengthen 
and lengthen. You can't feel this, but I'm kind of tugging just gently as I'm doing this to, to suggest to him length and length and length. Looseness, looseness, length and length. Good, back to the chorus. Even the chorus, this is, see, even this, look. This little pounding, when I'm, when I'm doing this, I'm kind of pounding, very gently pounding the, the um, hamstrings back here to encourage them to let go in a very light way. It's also very nice for the knee. The knee feels, likes to be pounded like that a little bit. Good. And then, finally, for the hip joint, so what we call leg around. This is a big sweeping movement. So this one will take you uh, first a little warm up. So here we're gaining flexibility to uh, the, particularly the knee and hip joints. And finally around. And around, big sweeping, easy movements, nice free light hip. Then I come over here and gently we're going to see if we can open his back up. Try this in some different places. Very good, lift him up. Then I straighten him up. One final course. And that's the leg. So, does that look like fun? It's fun. It's fun to do and it's fun to receive. Okay.